Professor Steve D'Alessandro from the University of Tasmania. Um, so this is our fifth edition. Um, I've been teaching market research for nearly 20 years now and uh, taught online for the last eight years as well. Uh, this is our fifth edition uh, with uh, Hume Windsor, Associate Professor Hume Windsor at Macquarie, who is now currently also a um, expert in data analytics and Professor Ben Lowe from Kent University. So the three of us have been together, uh, which is quite unusual for a long time on this book. So it has a nice narrative. We've brought in Michael Mehmet, Dr. Michael Mehmet from the University of Wollongong, who's a qualitative and social media expert and uh, to provide us additional insights. So the book now is uh, tailored for both uh, Southeast Asia and Europe, Africa, the Middle East, as well as importing the best of the US content and the Australian content in it as well. So it's a global book. So there's a lot more on qualitative. We've refreshed the qualitative research to include sentiment analysis, a lot more on social media. So since the last edition, that's changed dramatically. So we've brought in a, a specialist in that area, Dr. Michael Mehmet, who's published uh, extensively in this area and he's up, upgraded that um, chapter both in the various theoretical approaches you can take to qual, which is important, that's how you interpret the data, plus some of the developments in technology and uh, social media there. Um, online was growing before COVID-19 struck, but uh, basically, in particularly in terms of qualitative, so online focus groups, discussion boards and so on, using social listening, is likely to become more important because there just isn't the risk of personal interviews that we've had in the past. Um, the problem with telephone interviews is of course that people now have mobiles or multiple numbers. So online panels are now becoming more, more and more encompassing of, of data collection than, than in the past. So that's another major change in the book. There's also a greater emphasis on uh, how culture affects research. So a lot of the case studies we've included have, um, so there's one on, on Durex, for example, uh, which looks at cultural effects on uh, survey responses and so on. So yeah, so very yeah. proud of that. I think they like that the, it really shows that market research isn't just commercial research. It's really uh, some of the biggest um, funders of, of market research now are not-for-profits, health promotion. So we have a chapter we talk about uh, suicide prevention on uh, British Rail. I think there's observational uh, research examples in there as well. Uh, so I'm, I, I think that's the most important thing is that market research isn't just a commercial and that's why it's often called in Australia, the Australian Social and Market Research Society. Mm -hmm. um, and if you look at the top prizes in the Market Research Society in the UK, you'll find a lot of them are also social. Yes, yeah, so the major challenges, I guess, are the economic and environment that we're in now as the result of COVID-19, which is going to put pressure on all kinds of promotional social marketing budgets. So there'll probably be a, a drive to people doing more market research themselves. So this book provides an overall guide of how you might go about that, from constructing online surveys, analysing data, doing qualitative research. So it's a good book like that. It's also useful in you selecting a supplier should you want to do that. Um, the other, I guess the other challenges are now that increasingly competition is global, therefore market research will be global. And how do you understand that going to new markets and so on? What are some of the approaches and issues that, that companies have in doing research around the world? Mm -hmm.